I was gonna measure and be all like math about this. Hey everybody, thank you for stopping by Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a few more. It's really the last of my fall autumnal harvest DIYs that I'm gonna be doing on my channel this season because a lot of the stuff you can't find in the store anymore. So it's really hard to show you something and if you wanna recreate it, that's not in the store. Mm, womp womp. So I'm gonna wrap it up with this video and um, I'm also um, gonna be, I don't know what I'm gonna say, so let's get crafting. I got these wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of five. You probably can't find them anymore, but if you do, snag them. You'll, you'll want them for, the, you can just use them in so many projects. So I've already used them for a couple projects that I've put on my channel and I'm gonna show you something else that I did with them today. As you can see, I've already painted the pumpkins and this is that, I don't know what color, artichoke green color and it turned out, it turned out fine, just a little bit darker than I thought. But interestingly enough, this is taupe gray and it just turned out I don't know, it just seems like a little darker than I was anticipating it turning out, but it's fine. It'll work for this project. I'm gonna be sending these to clients, and so I wanted to kind of just decorate them a little bit. I'm gonna put a word here, but I'm gonna show you a couple different techniques to do that. And then I'm just gonna do a little simple bow, probably out of jute or something like that. I got these from the Target Dollar Spot. Oh wait, I got this one too. Okay, so I also got this one from the Target Dollar Spot. It was $3 and it says fall, sweet fall, hello fall, thankful, and it's got some pumpkins and a turkey. This one is just, these are just the ABCs and this one has a heart though. And this one has the and sign. <laughs> anyway, um, they were $3 each as well. And so I thought I could either like stamp out thankful or just use, you know, Hello Fall and stamp that in the middle. Or I also found this, and I think it was a dollar, but it says Be Thankful. And I thought that would look cute in the middle as well. But there's more. I also had some printouts, and I thought that um, this might, getting so much stuff in the way. I thought that if I used my um, carbon paper, and traced the word thankful, but this time I'm gonna kind of make sure it's straight because the last time I didn't really make sure it was straight. So I thought I could do thankful or blessed or grateful, any one of these words, you know, gather, autumn, harvest, you know, you can just choose the word that you want. And if I'm feeling fancy, which I'm not, but I could do the script one. The only thing is with this, I'm not super good at filling it in I've watched tons of videos. I'm just not really that great at it, so I'm not gonna do this one today, but I'm gonna show you stamping with an ink stamp and using this carbon paper to create another craft today. I was gonna measure and be all like math about this, but I'm just going to eyeball it more because that worked out so well the last time. I think that looks okay. Nope, that was not straight. So I'm gonna hold this down like this, and then I'm gonna slide to the left, slide to the right. No, crisscross. All right, I'm gonna add this in and tuck it under ever so gently, and then I'm just gonna trace, and I'm gonna hope for the best. I have more pumpkins, so it's not like it's a tragedy if I mess this up. Who knew your tracing skills in like kindergarten and stuff would pay off? All right, the moment of truth. Ta-da! Well, looks a little, ah, little like, uh, ah, like I just didn't have a steady hand, but okay. I'm grateful it turned out reasonably well. So now I'm going to take a paint pen and fill it in. Today I'm using a little bit thinner paint pen in hopes that I have a little bit steadier hand with it. The great news is I do not. <laughs> it's okay. I hope the people that receive this know that it was made with love. I just want the letters to be a little bit, oh wow. You, well, you know what, I'm going back with a thicker marker. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Gonna go back with a thicker marker. Try to repair this a little bit. This may be too thick, but again, we're just, this is a tester one. Well, I don't really like that. I'm gonna be honest. It needs to be somewhere in between that really thin pen and this thick pen because I think that still, this was a tester. Okay, so maybe this option won't work. Let's try another option. Okay, so let's try to stamp. Let's try to stamp the Be Thankful on here. I'm just gonna flip it over because this is gonna be our tester. This is gonna be the one that we see if it all works out. I've never taken stamping lessons, so I'm doing it wrong. Sorry. Well, let's see. Well, actually, that looks kind of cute. Maybe we'll do that. Now, I also want to try out, though, this. It says, hello, Paul. I just want to see how it stamps. You got to be careful. You got to be careful so you don't, because the edge there gets a little bit of a... That turned out kind of cute. I think it'd be sweet looking. I think it would not be as like, wow, out there type thing, but I'm okay with that. And I was gonna use these letters to like write out hello. You know, I thought that'd be cute. Maybe I'll try that. Just to see how these letters work. Well, gotta be careful. Hmm, that might be cute too. We'll keep that right here. All right, here's my tester. Grateful, that just looks too, just, I don't like it. So, I'm gonna try the Be Thankful, and I'm gonna try the Hello Fall, and I might even do the Hello with the letters. Feeling kinda, kinda spunky on that. Let me try it on this one. Like, that's gonna make a difference. It's not, but still. All right, Be Thankful. Kind of get, okay. I mean, can you see it? You can see it. Just looks a little not dark enough, but we're gonna keep going forward. I'm gonna do a couple more with this. That one was, that one was better. Yeah, that's turning out cute. Okay, I'm kind of digging those. Sweet. Set these off to dry. Do I wanna go and venture out? I kind of do, but the Hello Fall, I think is just a little bit too tiny, but so I think I'm gonna wait on that. But I think I kinda wanna do the hello. Hello. Good morning. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's try one that with hello. Like hello pumpkin, you know, get it? Hello pumpkin, okay, no. Well, maybe. Is there a top or a bottom? I can't tell. And I'm not trying to be super exact with this. I'm just putting the letters down. Uh, it got the edge, that's okay. I mean, it's gonna have to be okay. <laughs> because it's on there. Nah, that one wasn't as good. Let's just stick with what we know. Stick with what we know. Okay, those are testers and not so great. I think that turned out good. So I'm happy with that. Put this stuff away. Need to make little bows to go on top. So I still have, we're gonna include that one too. I still have three, six, nine left. That's plenty. For this last part, you just take some jute twine, that's all I'm gonna use, and make a little bow, and then I'm gonna hot glue it right there. I think that looks cute. I mean, it'll look cuter when it's hot glued in place, but that turned out pretty good. Last step for these little cuties, I'm going to hot glue on just some little ribbons, jute ribbons, or bows, I guess, jute bows at the top. So I've got the bows already made. That way I didn't have to spend time doing that. I just did that real quick off camera. I'm gonna put right where the hole is, just right around there is where I'm gonna put the ribbon. I may embellish it with something else later, who knows? I'll cut the, um, just tempting myself to burn it, my hands. I have this little tool, use it. And there you have it. I think that looks pretty cute. This is gonna be a little bonus DIY. I had these leftover these were ones that i was just like testing on this one says grateful and like really chunky letters but um and this one has all the stuff on the back so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to cut out out of this scrapbook paper i'm going to cut out the shape and i'm going to glue it to the front of this 
And then I'm gonna take this little thing, and I think I got this from the dollar spot or whatever at Target, and I'm gonna cut it right above and underneath, and then I'm gonna position that. See, this This gonna be here, this is gonna be here, and this is gonna be on top. See? And But it'll be cut, and then it'll be hopefully cute. So let's get to work on that. And I may paint the other side um, orange, <laughs> this uh, terracotta color. I decided not to, you know what, while I'm cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and paint. Whoa, don't, don't get excited. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint. And I think the cats are gonna try to join me. Hello, Captain, hello. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, I'm gonna be painting, so don't get in the way. Thank you. Just a little dab on here. And if this doesn't dry in time, that's not enough, I know. But if this doesn't dry in time, then I'm gonna go back and with my heat gun and I'm just trying to put a light coat. It's already getting messy. I just need it dark enough to cover those words. A little bit more. Can you still see the words? Not really. Okay, one more. One more dab will do ya. Whoa, well, okay. This is a little overboard, but that's okay. I'll just use my heat glen, glen my heat gun to dry this off. You could probably use a blow dryer if you don't have a heat gun. <gasps> oh gosh, hopefully I didn't ruin the front. If I did, <laughs> that's okay. Oh, I did get a little bit on there. Darn it. Well, you know, oh well. Okay, I've dried this mostly off with my heat gun and I'm gonna let it set to the side for now. I have, is it what, here, no it's not. I'm gonna cut out these two shapes so that I can glue it on the front. I got this craft paper at um, Hobby Lobby. They were four for a dollar. I think they're almost always four for a dollar. Anyway, if they weren't, sometimes they're four for a dollar. And so I got them and I'm just gonna cut out these shapes really quick. Again, these are kindergarten skills, cutting out paper. And I'm not worried about if it's perfect because I am gonna distress the edges just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the other one. Next step, I'm going to Mod Podge this shape to this pumpkin and this shape to this pumpkin. And yes, they're a little bit bigger than the actual, the piece of paper is a little bit bigger than the wood part, but that's okay. Captain, no, you don't need to be right there. You can be there, but just not right there. Take a little bit of Mod Podge, dip my brush in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Mod Podge on this and then lay the paper down. And then I will Mod Podge on top of the paper to kind of set it all together. Just trying to line it up as best I can on the back here. There's no bubbles. Okay, now we're gonna do this one. Quick and easy, not trying to spend a whole lot, whoa. Going crazy with the Mod Podge glue. Is Mod Podge, what is Mod Podge? I'll have to look that up. I mean, it feels like it's basically glue. Glue in a different jar. I'm sure the Mod Podge people will say, no, it's totally different. Oh, somebody's near my front door. Like so, like that. Y'all ever watch Tabitha Brown? She does that. Like so, like that. That's what she says a lot. Now, I'm gonna put on, you know what? I don't think it needs more Mod Podge. I think it'll be fine just like this. I'm gonna let it dry though and then we'll move on to the next thing. I'm gonna add a little jute bow. You're probably not gonna be able to see it very well, but I thought I'd add that to the top, just in case I decide to put like a little word or something there later. Now I'm gonna take this sander and just kind of go over the edges a little bit. See if I can't rough it up just a little bit. See, just giving it a little bit more worn look. Kind of like that. There's not like, it's not like this huge, like, oh my gosh, it's so different. But I think it adds a little bit something to it. Get my handy dandy little ladybug to get up. Last step, I'm gonna hot glue one of these Jenga blocks on so that I can um, make it stand up and be cute. <laughs> That's the idea anyway. And then one for this side. There we go. I think that looks pretty cute. Another super easy Dollar Tree craft. I'm taking this farmer's market calendar from the Dollar Tree. It's probably sold out where you are, but if you can find it, grab it, grab a couple. You could probably, I don't know, like sell them on eBay or something. Anyway, flip it over. You've got all these previews of each month's calendar photo or whatever. And then I took 
three of these little tower tumbling blocks, the Jenga block, and I glued them together. I did use wood glue, although you could use hot glue if you wanted to. So I glued them together and voila, I've already got one complete. So what we're gonna do is just cut out one of the ones that you like, or more than one, you can make, I mean, the tower tumbling blocks come with a bunch of these little things, so you could glue a bunch together if you wanted to. On the back, there's like nothing here, um, so you're not like cutting into anything that you might wanna use for a later craft. So, I'm just gonna cut here. Now, I'm just gonna cut it down to size. See, it's a little big for, it's actually a little bit bigger than the um, square that I'm using. And I guess I could just leave it like that, but I think I'm gonna try to glue it down and then kind of sand the edges so it kind of uh, peers away a little bit, if that makes sense. I'm gonna use my Mod Podge. Whoa, already drippy drippy. Whoa, drippy drippy again. Pay attention, Lisa, what you're doing. Now we're gonna place this on top, and like I said, I think I'm gonna let it kind of set a second, I mean dry, and then I'm gonna um, take off the rest of the edges. Try to make it look like an old sign, you know? Put some Mod Podge on top, I'm gonna let that set. We're gonna Mod Podge this one, because I have a, another place that I wanna put a little something, so I'm just gonna Mod Podge that on. Whoa, that's too much. And maybe a touch of Mod Podge on top, although I don't really need it. So I'm not gonna do, go crazy with it on the top part, just kind of cover it. And I'm gonna let that dry, then I'm gonna distress and sand the edges. All right, this is dry enough, so now I'm gonna take this little thing and try to get some of the edges off. Get it started there. This side over here had a lot more overhang, but I want it to look like a little mini, like old sign. And I thought what I should have done was take these Jenga blocks and kind of cut the paper and then like glue it individually. Um, maybe next year I'll try that. <laughs> we'll see, I don't know. See, making it look just a little bit like vintage. I don't know, <laughs> maybe just looking like I took a sandpaper to it, who knows. In my mind it's looking cute though. I mean, I like how it's turning out. There, I like that. Thank y'all so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was, um, I hope you found it like something inspired you. I hope that um, you'll subscribe and share it with your friends, all the things. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.